So good day guys, today we're gonna create a meme animation in Figma. We will start in creating the text field and the submit button. Now with the pen tool, I'm roughly tracing Bongo Cat. I'm keeping in mind that the orientation will be different. The cat will be facing forward. I'm also cutting the anchor points to make them sharp in the ear part of the cat. If I haven't mentioned, I'm designing on an iPhone X frame. We're gonna add a straight line. This would act as a table for Bongo Cat to tap. We're gonna add the eyes and the mouth. Be sure to round the edges and the sides of the mouth. And I also move the anchor points for the eyes to make it more natural looking. Now we're gonna create the shape for the hands using three simple points with the rounded edge on the second point. Remember to completely close the shape. The paw shape are just variations of squish circles. Then we'll group the paw details and then right click and flip them horizontally. Now we're just gonna squish the left hand and remove the center paw detail and squish and move a bit the other paw details. We will leave the left side squish first where I copied the full kanji for onigiri which is rice balls. We are gonna display it one at a time. Every time Bongo Cat taps, the text indicator line will also move on the right side. We will scale the hand towards the bottom, remove the remaining paw details and adding a white rectangle to cover the line so that it will look like that the cat is actually tapping on the table. And we just add three simple lines to suggest a tap. And then we will try to replicate this action on the right side. Thank you. 
be sure to right click and flip the hand horizontally. Here I have selected both of the hands and align it to the right side then after that I deleted the longer hand. So the total taps of Bongo Cat would be 4. We will just duplicate the frame and uh, every tap be sure to add a text and move the text indicator to the right side. Now we will animate the button. The thought on this one is when you tap the poof button, the text that is in the text box, the button will transform that into an icon. Using Figma Smart Animate will help in making this transition look good. By using only 3 frames, get the effect that we want. So on the first frame, we want the buttons to form a circle-like shape. Be sure when scaling to keep the shape on the center. The word poof can be deleted. And then on the next frame, we'll move the same circle shape, double clicking it until we can add some points on it so that we can create the rice ball shape. And then I've added a simple rectangle for the seaweed strip. I've duplicated also the three action lines, indicate a action. And then on the next frame, we will just delete the mouth and create another mouth that would suggest a surprise. I was not satisfied with the font for the button so I just changed it a bit. So now it's time to animate this, select the first frame, then go to the prototype tab. Then a circle would appear on the boundary box in the middle of the frame. You would click and drag this to the next frame. So all the animations of frames 1 to 10 is an after delay with 1 millisecond. On frame 10 to 11, we will use Smart Animate. So this would be on tap of the button, but I've actually set it if there's a tap on the screen. Be sure to check if the frames are prototyped properly. Now here is the first successful test of the animation. So there are just a few things that I want to fix here. So first would be the transformation of the circle into the onigiri. So what I did here, I just duplicated the rectangle on the frame before it applied a black fill on it. I've scaled down also the poof text, but I've decided to delete it at the end.
I've also moved the body of the cat two steps on the right, one frame before the end frame to create a jiggle surprise effect. So we are finally on the home stretch. The last edit that I did here is moving the text indicator along with the text and applying a zero opacity on it. So that while the text will go to the center and the text indicator will slowly disappear. So here is the final animation. I hope that you have enjoyed this kind of video where I take you step by step in creating something on Figma. Be sure to like and share this video to your friends if you found it informative. And again, I hope you have a great day and have a good one.